Hello, welcome to another Kamada SH Regards. This is SH Regards Kamada the end complete form as fair news dance figure series then copy is banner as you art under the theme pursuing character special for human not action <gasps> time she worked with exclusive Chodeno trilogy part three um standard decayed style silver box with the color of the rider as the font print top of the box right here and bottom of the box. If you want to take a closer look at the box art, instruction manual, and photo shoot the figure, please feel free to head over to the Facebook of uh, a flick link in the description below somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's right at the end. Back of the box right here. Slide the box out. Because uh, you have a backing card inside. That also has instructions manual. And um, inside you have a uh, QR code. Oops. Card, five, four, three, two, one, and actual manual sheet. Five, four, three, two, one. Box itself. There we go. Focus. Yeah. Uh, slide up. 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 And up. And up. There we go. Not too hard to open. <laughs> so apart from the fist hands already on camera the decayed, uh, decayed the end, uh, you have two K touch holding hands, two gun holding hands, a pointing hand or finger tap 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 hand, and two relaxed hands right there. You also have the DN driver, uh, DN gun in open and closed mode. Now uh SH regards DN had the gun in open mode and did not have the gun in closed mode, so here it is in open mode, of course. Whoa. Focus, there we go. Uh, it doesn't have a slot for you to put, push the cards in, even though uh, the end does come with a few cards. Uh, this one also comes with the gun in closed mode, which is much better that it does. So, thank God for that. Like, it was a joke that the origin of the end did not come with that, but good at least that they did remedy that, you know, decade B issue could have come with it, I guess, that would be much better. You know, giving us another way to get hold of that gun, but fine. Uh, I'm quite lucky here, all the stickers are aligned correctly. Uh, the shop that I bought them from had, she actually had quite a few of these brand new. Like, you know, look at the shelf, so I want that one, and it gets another one from the back. Um, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, so most of his body and actually all of his hands accessories are uh, pretty much the same as uh, Decade Complete form. So you have spares now, like if you have Decade Complete form, so that that's good. So double neck joint head up, down, sideways, sideways, uh, full rotation, pretty easily. Shoulder pads are kind of weird, like they do go up, but um, they do get stuck going up. So sort of a weird thing going on. Um, if you push it that way, then you can turn them up. But uh, it is forcing the joint, so I wouldn't do it too much. So, shoulder pads, uh, ball socket inside the torso, arm goes up, full rotation, rotation here, double elbow, ball socket, and arm joint, ball socket, ball socket, up, down, sideways, sideways, uh, up, up. Back rotation as far as it'll go. Double knee joint, die cast feet down, up, sideways, sideways, toe joint, and bottom of the shoe. Uh, I do have to say that the uh, logos on the little K Touch are completely accurate and printed really nicely. So I can't tell them apart. Uh, K Touch does come off, of course, because you have the hand holding it, but unfortunately, so does his little belt buckle thing also come off, and um, which makes it a bit annoying. Like, I don't know why this piece comes off, it just there's actually no reason for it to come off, but the K Touch can come off and he has the, hand, the hands to hold it. Uh, exact same mode as the uh, Decade. In fact, most of him is the exact same mode as Decade, of course, um, the belt buckle is slightly different because it doesn't have the Decade drive on here. And uh, the peg here is similar to Decade, but this one's pretty much, uh, it's not glued down, like his little card book holder can spin. Uh, but it, it's 
doesn't come off it's pegged in there tightly and I don't want it to come off because um, it never comes off in the show so I'm good it's not I'm glad it's not like a loose piece of plastic uh, all the cards are printed very detailed but uh, has that printing issue of being a bit dark and a bit blurry not blurry uh, a bit sort of gray just the contrast a bit lower so it would have been nice if it was sharper because uh, you have G4, Ryuga, Olga, um, that movie Blade Rider, the Ace one, um, that green Hibiki from the movie, uh, Kokosas, I think it's called, uh, Dark Kiva, you know, the Emperor Kiva thing, Dark Kiva, and for some reason Skull. It should, I mean, in hindsight, it really should be eternal. So maybe they can wreck on that or something. Kamen Rider DN Complete Form is a pretty good SH figure out, aside from the stickers being a bit sort of um, less, not, you know, vibrant enough. The rest of him is painted really well. Uh, molding adjustment lines aren't there, but they're hidden also pretty well underneath the gorgeous uh, Bandai Silver. Uh, like I said, the paint app on overall on this figure is pretty nice. I'm glad that he comes with the closed version of the DN gun, because that was really annoying from the DN figure arts. Uh, but, um... Accessory wise, I think he really could have come with a few extra cards, but um, oh well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, this figure's base body is pretty much identical to Kamen Rider Decade complete form, even to the way it's painted. Of course, it, most of his body parts are also swap bits from uh, you know, Decade and DN, have really similar parts anyway. But I do like how, even though the base body of Decade and DN are completely the same, it looks very different in the mo in the TV show and movies because of the way they've been painted and I think that's really good like it saves them money for using the same parts keeping with the same motive uh, motive uh, motif and theme and yet looking completely different because of clever paint app so that's really good right there uh, yeah this guy is pretty expensive these days but uh, the end is a pretty popular character uh, minus his movie ties in kind of bad, that was completely stupid. But um, I think a lot of people do like him. So if you do like this figure, uh, like the end, the complete form is pretty good. Um, this is like one of the only ways to get a figure of the end complete form because he sort of appeared after the decade ended in that uh, Deno Cho Climax trilogy. So there's not a lot of the end complete form toys with related toys lying around so if you really like that form definitely try and pick up the figure arts um he is like i said quite expensive uh so trying to see if you can find a good second hand version of him because um while he is good um paying for that premium price is not i don't think it's that worth it subscribe suggest and comment below and take care and have a nice day bye